Hey guys, John from FlyMikeAlpha.com and today we're going to be talking about winds aloft forecasts, how to get them and how to read them. So to start out with, we're going to go to AviationWeather.gov and then we're going to come over here to forecasts and look at our winds and temps aloft. Now, why we need to know this is we cannot use what the winds are doing on the ground to project for flights to another airport because the winds are very different up high than they are down at the surface. And even just 500 or 1,000 feet above the surface, the winds can differ quite drastically in their direction and also their speed. So, let's take a look down here. We're gonna scroll down, and I like this textual form over here on the right. So on the bottom right here, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Florida area. It looks like PIE is close to me. Also, MIA maybe is also close to our route of flight. So we'll click on that, and we'll look at the stations, PIE and MIA. So if we're going to go at 3,000 feet today, we can see the winds would be 220 at 6 knots for PIE. At 6,000 feet, they actually change around on us, 150 degrees at 7 knots, plus 15 degrees centigrade. 9,000 feet, 140 degrees at 7 knots, plus 10 degrees centigrade, so getting cooler as we move on up, a little bit more comfortable up there. And as we move across, we see this note here, temps negative above 24,000 feet. Once we get above 24,000, they drop the negative sign. So we could come over here to PIE and go over to, say, 34,000 feet and read that the winds up there are from 050 degrees at 47 knots and it is minus 42 degrees centigrade out there, so pretty cold up high at 34,000 feet. Now also we need to note, when is this chart good for? Is it good for today, tomorrow, whatever? Well, it's data is based on the 22nd at 1800 Zulu, and it's for use from 2000 Zulu to 0300 Zulu. A little tongue tied there. And if we want to look a little further out, we could go 1200 Zulu, up to 0000 Zulu and so we can look a little bit further in the future what the winds are going to be doing looks like they change a little bit 210 at 6 knots 110 at 8 knots 140 at 7 knots and so on and here we see here 9900 that's basically winds calm winds less than 5 knots then they don't bother to put anything in there so uh, when the winds are calm you'll just see the 9900 to indicate uh, no wind direction, no wind velocity. And if we were to see something like, say, uh, you know, winds in excess of 100 knots, which is very possible, especially at higher altitudes, we could go here and take a look at um, Alaska, maybe, and we could probably see some stronger winds. Right around here, we see 270 at 92 knots, minus 53 degrees centigrade outside, so very cold, very windy up there. That's a pretty crazy headwind or tailwind to have. Of course, you'd have to get to 39,000 feet first to experience that. And you can see down lower, the winds are substantially calmer. So although it's 100 knots at 39,000 feet almost, it's only 21 knots at 9,000 feet, 20 knots at 6,000, 23 knots at 3,000. And where you see the stations emitted, that's because the station is too close to that altitude. So say if we come out here to the Midwest where we have lots of high elevation stations, well, they're not going to give you winds aloft when ALS might be at 5,000 feet or at 6,500 feet. So it wouldn't make sense for them to publish winds aloft data for a station that's already at, say, 8,000 feet or so. We could go ahead and find out what elevation ALS actually is at. And the elevation for ALS is 7,539 feet, so it's within 1,500 feet of the surface, so they're not going to bother publishing winds aloft data for that station. So when we look at this winds aloft excerpt, what it's saying to us down here in the bottom right, 760054, what that really is saying, we need to minus 5 off that, and that this we add 100 to to the wind speed, so we can actually measure winds aloft up to 199 knots and above that we don't bother so say if uh, what this is saying here is we're going to subtract 5 from the 7 and that's going to give us 260 at 100 knots minus 54 degrees celsius if our middle number here was 50 that would simply mean 260 at 50 or 150 knots and minus 54 degrees celsius if this was an 86 and that middle number was a 50 that would be 360 at 
uh, 150 knots in minus 54 degrees centigrade. If this was a 99 and 76, so then we would minus the five, we get 260 at 199 knots or greater and minus 54 degrees centigrade. We typically don't experience many winds greater than 200 knots aloft, so they typically don't go above that, although it is possible. The main thing for you guys to remember here is to go to forecast, winds and temps aloft, come on down to the bottom here, click on your local area in the country, look at the station nearest your location, for us it'll be PIE, click on that and then simply read across that text and make sure it's valid for the time that you're planning your flight. If you're planning a flight for maybe 18 hours from now or 12 hours out, you may need to adjust this accordingly. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video, and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below, and remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.